Next Alert meteorologist Kyle Dickens. I think it's going to be setting up to be quite the nor'easter once it does move into the New England states right now, causing a lot of issues down there in Florida. Let's take a little closer look here and you can see look at the whole state is really socked in with heavy rainfall and those winds blowing from southwest to northeast, the coastal Gulf Coast states, especially or Gulf Coast side of the state of Florida will really see some impacts from that. Really, the whole state will be seeing some impacts. So any travel plans down to Florida within the next uh, couple days check for delays and then that thing will track right up the coast into parts of the New England states. Now our system has really progressed from southwest here into uh, we will go up a little closer here where you can see that activity low pressure pretty much right over top of us. The activity is going to slowly wind down, maybe a couple more bands as we head into the evening hours overnight. Exact track saying we'll probably be done with this, but I could still see some light activity spin around here as we head into the evening hours. But once we get overnight, the rain should end. Clouds are going to stay with us. That'll keep our temperatures from falling too much tonight. But once we get into the day tomorrow, it'll be a slow progression into some sunny skies as we head into the afternoon. Definitely going to be the weekend's best as it's going to be the driest day we've seen. Uh, this weekend, but uh, once we get into the afternoon, we see that cloud deck really decrease, but what increases is going to be our winds. In fact, we're going to be watching that as a concern for Monday. Once we get to Monday, here we go. Look at that little bit of snowfall out to the northeast. I, I think that we might see, at least in the northeastern portion of the TV6 viewing area, I don't think it'll be out of the question to see some flurries or even some light snow showers come Monday coupled with some very, very gusty winds. Watch this. Here we are on exact track as we head throughout the day tomorrow. We'll see an increase in winds, but look at this. Once we get to Monday, Monday morning, early morning, 30 mile an hour gusts up to 40 mile an hour gusts possible. That brings us into uh, wind advisory territory. And here we are in the morning hours. We've got 40 mile an hour gusts. We'll have to watch that. That's really going to drive our temperatures down. Not to mention, if we get any snowfall, I'll be blowing uh, that snow around and uh, help reduce visibilities. Temperatures tonight, not going to be bad. By the time we wake up, we'll still be in the 40s. With that cloud cover in place, will not let us drop too much. We're not going to rise very much tomorrow. I think uh, 40s, and then the temperatures really crash. Here we are on Monday morning. Air temperatures in the 20s, mid-20s not far off of where we're supposed to be this time of year actually for our low, but we're not going to move much throughout the day and look at this Tuesday morning air temperature now into the teens. So coldest morning within the next seven days. The feel like temperatures though. Here we are Monday morning with that wind starting to really kick up. We're going to be in the single digits for feel like temperatures. So cold start to the day, cold start to the work week. Once we get to the nighttime hours, single digit feel like temperatures throughout. Again, this is coupled with a 40 mile an hour wind. That is going to be pretty miserable to be outside. Once we get to Tuesday morning, we're still in those single digits. But check this out. We'll have a little bit. Uh, you can see this dip in the jet stream here. That's helping draw that colder air down. It's not going to be with us for very long. Once we get later into the week, warm air builds back in. Check out these temperatures all the way through. Look at this. The trend is literally two days in what is cold on Monday, Tuesday, and trends a little bit closer to average. It could be up into the 50s by the time we get to next week. Christmas is not looking like we're going to see a white Christmas this time, folks. 37 tonight. Again, clouds, rain, rain ending really for most. And then that next seven day forecast here. Very windy conditions on Monday. That's going to be a concern. 29 degrees for that high. That wind is really going to drive those temperatures down. We rebound close to average on Tuesday. But look at that. Back to the 50s by the time we get to Friday. New campaign.